now we're ready to head where we're actually supposed to go. Luckily, Cosmos does not rust at all. I believe it was on this side. Are they going to let me up this way? I don't think they are. I think I still have to go all the way around in order to get there. Uh, now, I'm not going to fully do it. I don't think I'm fully ready for it. I might give it a shot, uh, but I don't think I'm fully ready uh, for what I need to do. Uh, we've already been in there. What we want to do this time is head through this door where we can find a small little coconut monkey. Who are you? I'm surprised. Damn it. I was too amazed by your name to read what you said. Have you come to visit the Dark Professor? If so, I have unfortunate news. I'm sorry to say that the Dark Professor passed away. He dedicated his life to building the strongest robot in the universe. Before his dream f was fulfilled, he fell ill. And just a few days ago, he... I'm sorry, allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Dark Professor's pet. My name is Coconut Monkey. If you don't mind my asking, what was your relationship with the Dark Professor? He was our arch enemy or he was our arch rival? Uh, I'm going to be nice here and say rival because that doesn't necessarily imply that he's evil. Oh, please. It's true that the Dark Professor had an arch rival, but he's a gray-haired, unkempt, obnoxious old man, or so I've heard. It seems you were greatly involved with the Dark Professor. Hmm. There's actually something I'd like to show you. Please come this way. And of course he squeaks. Now, I don't... I thought there was something in here. Apparently not. We're... There are bongo drums. We are ready to head forward, though. Deep into the bowels of Petey Island. This was the Dark Professor's laboratory. He devoted day and night to the development of the ultimate Erde Kaiser, and he became ill from overworking. Just before he died, the Dark Professor left a will, and he said to me, If a woman with long hair we wearing a pendant come by comes by, I want you to show it to her. Because there's only one woman in the universe with long hair wearing a pendant. As soon as I saw you, I knew he was talking about your friend, Shion. Not, not Cosmos, that's why he had to say that. Please press the switch on that console with the letter D on it. It should contain the Dark Professor's will and a record of how he lived. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to take you seriously when you squeak. Is there anything else around? <laughs> Oh, okay. Please press the switch on the console with the letter D on it. It should contain the Dark Professor's will and record how he Right, you said that. Are you going to talk now? No. <laughs> it's been a while, eh, Shion? It's me, the greatest robot scientist in the universe, the Dark Professor. How long has it been? I'll never forget the day you, which you destroyed my masterpiece, Dark Day Kaiser. Since then, I've lived only to get my revenge. Yes, in order to beat you, I've observed you the entire time you've been here on this island to find your weakness. I know you've been fighting a great evil all by yourself, and I know you're suffering, unable to forget the man in your past. I even studied how you live. Remember when your instant curry disappeared from the refrigerator? That was me! Remember when you cl your closet was in a mess, but your underwear was still there, right? That's because I came to my senses midway through. This guy's creeping me out. In this manner, I researched everything about you, and based on that data, I created the strongest robot in the universe, Erde Kaiser Sigma. It's the ultimate robot. Not even you can defeat it. No one can defeat it. Not even you, Xion. But my fearsome, crazed obsession also exhausted my body. I've grown sick now, and I can't. And I can tell I don't have much time left. This video is my will. I left it believing you would come here. Gion, accept my final challenge. Fight my greatest masterpiece, Erde Kaiser Sigma. By the time you see this recording, I'll have already passed on. Though my body may perish, my soul lives on. Though the Dark Professor may die, Sigma is eternal. I trust you'll accept this challenge from beyond the grave. Farewell. Uh, Sigma, for the record, is uh, the Greek letter for S. And 
It also represents, in mathematical terms, a sum. So it's like the sum of all the other Urday Kaisers beforehand. Uh, oh, the Dark Professor dedicated his life to creating the ultimate robot that would best his arch rival, the Professor. And the product of his effort is Urday Kaiser Sigma. But you fight Urday Kaiser Sigma? Will you accept the Dark Professor's final challenge? Um, God, I don't think that there is a downside to this. I'm going to still say no. Uh, I'm not going to win. It's just not possible right now. Well, maybe it is, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's not good. However, I can head over here and go down the secret elevator that we kind of saw before. That was what was going on there. You can only go down here if you have observed the video, though. And here we can find segment address three. Which I cannot decode. It's golden, though. That can only mean good things. Back here, we can find update file 02, which updates our database, which is why I was holding off on doing that. It's a small grave. No name is on it. That is, uh... Coconut Monkey can't write Dark Professor on there. Alright, go back to the research facility. Let me just make sure that there's... Yeah, there's no, there's no downside. There's no penalty for losing here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. We're gonna, we're gonna try and fail to take on Erde Kaiser Sigma. Like I'm not going to try my hardest. I don't even have the, you know, proper equipment. I haven't bought anything. Are you ready? I guess that's better than squeaking. He just flew off with a propeller cap. Come forth, Erde Kaiser Sigma. Was that the Dark Professor's voice I heard? And it is boss time! You're too young to defeat me! I probably am. We're gonna try to go all out as best as I can. We're gonna start with a small, you know, small attack and skin down. Yeah. All right, we're also gonna go for an M Buster. It's strong against mechs. Unable to continue combat, shutting down systems. We're gonna go for a medium physical physical attack against him. Yeah. Your attacks are nothing. Break him. Here I go. Oh, he activated Kaiser Shield three. surrounds the Sigma. There is a secret to breaking this defense system. Is it Spirit Strike? Here I go. It's yeah. not good. Sorry. And down I go, and I have indeed lost. Like I said, not gonna happen. It seems you are not ready yet. Yeah, there's no penalty like I thought. Yes? Would you like to challenge again? Oh, I was so close. All right, I will be waiting for you here. It seems you are not ready yet. No, no, I am not. And that was the role of this giant hole in Pedia Island. That's where Rebecca Kaiser Sigma is. Mm. Alright, uh, you're free to get the hell out of here. Uh, you only respawn with one HP, so don't go ahead and, you know, fight them right away. That would not be good for you. And, now that that is done, it's time to delve into the database again. This will take the uh, rest of uh, this video, probably a couple videos at least. We're only up to 73, but uh, don't let that deceive you. We've had a couple things change. All right. Characters. Are you kidding me? 
All right, update to Yuli Mizrahi. This may be not as bad as I thought. Uh, there we go. She is currently acting as an observer from the contact subcommittee at the Consolidated Advanced Technology Testing Ground where the Zohar proje project is taking place. Perhaps more than wanting to clear her late husband's name, her true motivation is trying to uncover through the results of the grand project tied to the Y data just what it was Joachim had been trying to accomplish. I believe that is the only thing that is new here. Really? That's it? Maybe this isn't as big as I thought it was. All right, next up we have Klein Point, the contact point between imaginary space and real space. Gnosis appearances and attacks take place from these points. Its estimated location can be confirmed using DSSS. Before the development of the Hilbert effect, this was the only part of the Gnosis that could be attacked. In the story, Yuli fired Cosmos' phase transfer cannon into this contact point and caused a crack to open into imaginary space in an attempt to rescue the Elsa. Is that really it? I thought there was going to be so much more than this. So much more. All right, program Kanan. The surveillance program said to be installed within Kanan. It's unclear what kind of program it is. No shit. Sherlock. All right, we also got the 13th key. Words Roth Montel is believed to have said in reference to Xion and Cosmos. Ah, so he was talking about Xion and Cosmos, was he? Well, yeah. In town report? There we go. Here we have some town report on uh, Erde Kaiser and all that good stuff. Erde Kaiser, a giant robot built by the genius scientist, the Professor. The very first model in the Erde Kaiser series. Now that Erde Kaiser has become a series, it would perhaps be appropriate to respectfully refer to it as the original Erde Kaiser. According to the Professor, we've gone through this, haven't we? I read this. Yeah, this is exactly what I read on the little terminal before. How dare you, game? All right, we got more, though. Erde Kaiser Sigma. The greatest Erde Kaiser ever and the most powerful robot in the universe. Created by the Professor's arch-rival, the Dark Professor. The name Sigma contains the Dark Professor's fiery passion that this is a machine that encompasses all that is Erde Kaiser, the ultimate Erde Kaiser. Sigma's most notable characteristic is the fact that it has a will. It can converse with its enemies and not only threaten or persuade them, but also show pride and insult them. So that is not the voice of the Dark Professor that we hear, that's Dark Erde Kaiser's voice. Dark Erde Kaiser was viewed as an imitation and was never able to shake its reputation as being a copy of Erde Kaiser Fury. Oh, sorry, not, not Erde, Dark Erde Kaiser's voice, Erde Kaiser Sigma's voice. But Sigma is a completely original, the embodiment of its creator's will. The above description is that given by the creator himself, the Dark Professor. But unbeknownst to many is the fact that at the Professor's Robot Academy, back when it was located on the Kukai Foundation, amongst the rows of test machines lay a unit called Element DX, which looked extremely similar to Darker Day Kaiser Sigma. Oh, now it's Darker Day Kaiser Sigma, is it? Putting aside gossip, yeah, as if I'm not confused enough about the names, putting aside gossip, what truly deserves description is Sigma's capabilities. With all of its parameters three times furies and its attack power a startling five times as high, is a dramatic evolution in functionality. Its robust body is decorated with a tricolor design on an orange base, and it appears more than worthy to ascend the Erde Kaiser throne. From that sturdy frame, it unleashes it ultimate attack supreme emperor with the power to rend space time itself we didn't even get to see that i didn't live long enough erde kaiser fury the second unit in the erde kaiser series developed by the professor the next generation erde kaiser widely heralded as his greatest masterpiece <clears throat> Its advanced capabilities instantly made the first generation Erde Kaiser obsolete, and therefore we never used it. it is, and it is surely no exaggeration to proclaim that it made real the professor's slogan, Ultimate Power, Absolute Justice. The Fury's development concept was for it to be customizable, and by exchanging parts in individual modules, it can take on a variety of di very different roles, such as close range sword fighting, sword custom, special drill attacks, drill custom, and long range projectile combat, cannon custom. Don't remember that in the second game. This ridiculous imagination and the skill to actually bring it to life are the hallmarks of the Professor, undeniably the greatest mad scientist in the universe. 
as appropriate for a machine that would inherit the name Erde Kaiser, absolute ruler. That's what it means in, I believe, German. Its steel body is swathed in orange, and its most powerful attack, the true ultimate ice sword, has the power to destroy even the stars themselves. Also don't remember that from the second game. Next, let's talk about the coconut monkey. The Dark Professor's cherished pet. A type of monkey that lives on Pedia Island. It has a knob on its head that resembles a palm tree. They possess greater intelligence than chimpanzees and are said to be smart as, as smart as elementary school age human children. There's one living in the Dark Professor's secret laboratory, but its true nature is unknown to us, apparently. Darker Day Kaiser. A jet black Erde Kaiser made by the Dark Professor that closely resembles Erde Kaiser Fury. Closely resembles is a nice way of putting it. Actually, it's a direct copy and completely the same type of machine. The Professor had publicly protested this point, but the Dark Professor still hasn't acknowledged it. But regardless of its origins, its capabilities are undeniable. In line with the Dark Professor's beliefs, every element of the machine has been tuned for output, sacrificing stability for maximum power. Its pure attack power exceeds even that of Fury. Until we took it on. Its body is shrouded in the aura of a dark hero, and from that body explodes its most powerful attack, the true ultimate fire sword, with the power to obliterate even black holes. Once again, I don't remember that from the previous game. Wait, this thing can take out black holes? Okay, sure, why not? And Sigma's more powerful than that but it only does like 5,000 damage. Sure, whatever you say, game. By the way, the Dark Professor's motto, powered by darkness, is a somewhat old fa fashioned way of thinking about combat robots, which emphasizes maximum power output above all else. In contrast, the Professor's motto, maximize everything, actually results in balanced designs. Next up, we have the Dark Professor. The Professor's rival. Ever since their time together at the University of Bormio, the only university. He possesses a sharp mind that kept him neck and neck with the professor for head of the class. But after they graduated, the dark professor suddenly went into hiding. Upon hearing rumors that the professor had succeeded in completing their dream of creating an invincible giant robot, the dark professor also created his own robot, robot Dark Erde Kaiser, and challenged the professor. But victory in that contest would go to the professor. After the battle, the Dark Professor once again vanished and is now biding his time somewhere, waiting for another chance to challenge the Professor, even though you can't get this unless you know where he is. And no, the Professor did not win against Darker Day Kaiser. We won, and the, Dark Profe and the regular Professor just stood and watched. Dark Professor's secret laboratory. A secret research facility on PDI Island. Second mill shop. A laboratory, the... A laboratory, sorry, the Dark Professor built for new development of the ultimate giant robot after his Darker Day Kaiser was defeated by the Professor. Except it wasn't. Here, the Dark Professor devotes day and night to research together with his pet monkey. Coconut monkey! And that is all that we get for the database today. It was just 1%, not nearly as much as I was expecting, to be honest. But with that done, that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. I have been Baller Scuba. I have been joined, as always, by the unable to take on Sigma Squad of Xion, Chaos, Cosmos, and the rest who were not in this video at all. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.